Hey guys and welcome back for another crochet tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute and easy crochet slippers. This pattern will be located over at my blog which will be linked down below which is charmedbyashley.com and most likely will be posted over at Ravelry also. So if you enjoy this pattern, definitely share it with your friends. Also, I would love it if you follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, and my Twitter, just so you can stay in the loop of next upcoming patterns and sewing tutorials and all kinds of other fun things I have planned, especially because now that um, Christmas is coming very soon, then things will start picking up for the crocheting community, especially when you want to get those gifts out. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we will get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is make a slip knot around your hook. And then we are going to do chain two. One, two. So from here, if you feel more comfortable, you can do a magic circle, but if not, this is an easier way of doing it. And we are going to do five single crochets into the first chain. So one, two, three, four, five, And then we are going to go to the first stitch and do a slip stitch and that will complete the round. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and so then from here we are going to start with double crochets and we're going to do chain two, which counts as our first double crochet, and then and then you will do two double crochets into each stitch, which will give you 10 double crochets. So your double crochet is yarn over through your chain or your stitch, yarn over back through, yarn over, yarn over, yarn over through the stitch, yarn over through two, through two. Okay, and then you're gonna find your chain two and you can put your hook through that, pull up a loop, and then slip stitch. So you should have two, four, six, eight, ten, ten stitches. Okay, so from here we're going to do your chain two and then we are going to do two double crochet in each stitch again. So you will end up with 20 stitches. Okay, so see how there is, this is your chain two. See how there's another stitch right there? You might think that you need to go into that one, but we're not going to go into that one. And if you do go into that one, then that makes your stitches crooked. So we're just gonna go into the first stitch, pull up loop, and then we're going to finish off our round. Okay, now from here, we are going to again do our chain two, 
one, two. And then we're going to do double crochet into the next, two double crochets into the next, and then one into the next. So two and then one. one and then you should have 30 at the end like that so I'm just going to pause the video and complete this round and I'll meet you back for round five Okay, so here is my slipper, my first one. Um, so far we've done up until here, and then we are going to do one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and these five rows will be um, one double crochet into each stitch. So as long as you have 30 stitches in here, then that will be what you are going to be doing for the rest. Every time you finish a row, you're going to um, slip stitch to complete the round and then you will again do a chain two so I'm just going to go ahead and start um, I'm not going to obviously show you me doing every single round just because it's pretty self-explanatory um, very easy that's the thing I like about this pattern is super easy and you can make a bunch of them especially if you need gift ideas for around Christmas time or um, you just oh no I need a pair of slippers because my feet are cold you could have them done in you know an hour and a half I'd say so I'm going to do round five and then I will meet you back when it is time for round when time for row 10 because then we're going to start working in rows Okay, so this is the last of row nine. So just make, make note of what this looks like. Make sure you're not going into that stitch because if you are going into that stitch, then that row is going to look wrong. So see how perfectly straight that is? That way when you go to make your slipper, you won't see the seam at all. Like you can, you obviously know where it is, but it's definitely to to somebody who doesn't know about crochet, they would never see it. So you just did a slip stitch to complete the round. And that is what you should have. So that is the toe. And then from here, we are going to work in rows and we are going to start by doing the chain two and then we're going to do 21 stitches so and that is not including the chain two so it's going to be a total of 22 including the first chain so after you've done your chain two additional 21 stitches three four, six. I'm just gonna fast forward through this. And then 21. So once you've done the next 21, then you're gonna 
do your chain two and then flip your work and then work backwards again. And you're gonna do that for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've done eight rows and that is because I am a size eight. So I would just go by that. So if you're a size seven, then I would do seven rows. If you're a size nine, I would do nine rows. Um, so once I'm done my eight rows, I will meet you back and then we can finish it off. Okay, so I've done the entire length of the opening and then from here we are either going to use our crochet hook or you can use a darning needle and we are going to take that open side we're gonna fold it inside out just so that if you are doing it my method then there will be a seam and so you just want the seam to be on the inside I'm going to take my hook out of the loop and then line up the two sides and I'll put my hook through the last stitch on the one side and then the, hook, the loop through the other side and then I'll bring that loop through and then from here we're just going to do single crochets sewing it together Like that all the way down make sure you get the stitch from the one side and the stitch from the other side and this doesn't have to be too perfect can go through the last loop go to the end Ooh. and then we're just going to do slip stitches and then pull that and then I'm just going to cut that and then we can weave that in after. So here's how it's looking so far. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my hook through the heel part, grab some yarn, and then I'll do a slip stitch. And then I'm going to go, and then I'm going to go all the way around the edge doing single crochets. And there are no stitches, um, like, actual stitches to sti to do the single crochets in so because the single, or the crochets are sideways so you're just going to every so often you can put two if you want into each row or one it doesn't matter you're just going to do single crochets all the way around the edge and then that will just make your edge look a little bit more polished. Like that. Oops. Okay, we're almost, oops. Almost back around. And then we can do a little. Okay, so then after you can just weave in your ends and then they are ready to wear or to gift to somebody. 
So, and then that is pretty much it. So they are ready to wear or to give as a gift. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to stay in the loop and see more crochet videos. Um, definitely check out my blog, which is charmbyashley.com, where you can find the written pattern and some more photos and things. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!